prosecutors and his lawyers, despite being warned to remain silent. So listen, you will get a chance to talk. I'm going to gag you in one second. He accused Judge Russo. Of oh, I didn't say trying to make me quiet and shit like that, but threatening to put a dick down in my mouth ain't going to fix things, bro. Killers losing control in court. Let's see killers tweaking out off the fence and whatever the case uh, might be doing. Let's see if they really are going crazy or if this title just overreact. And I want to see how crazy this about to go, bro. So let's check. Ah! 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 Never mind. That's that fent, my. That's that. That's that fent. That's that crack. That's that booger sugar. That's that's that crocodile, my. That's that's that heroin. Never mind. That's already tweaking. My. That mother Started speaking Morse code and just really started tweaking. Started speaking UFO RTD2 type. Shit. Like I just started speaking other bull. Been <laughs> strong with this one. <laughs> oh yeah, we gonna see some fan chat. This is Gregory Wright. Hi, Gregory. Robbery in Detroit, Michigan. God, that Detroit, Michigan. I can tell Barbara located in Detroit. Yeah. Money. The suspect in an armed robbery in Detroit. That cut. Up. I don't know if y'all can see because the subs, but holy shit, this cut is chopped. They had a lineup in about a decade. Detroit, Michigan. On June 28, 1995, 22 year old Wright robbed Gregory Grizzin at gunpoint and escaped with his car. Robbed the barber Both at gunpoint. Authorities right slammed into a police cruiser and fired shots, hitting an officer in the arm. A wow. day later, on June 29th, Wright was arrested. All I got to say is I have no remorse for shooting that police officer. He got what he deserved. If I had opportunity to kill him, I'd kill him. Now in court, not gonna lie, bad, bad snitches carrying a no. weapon. Use of Man, the haircut got even bad, like worse. My that is really fucked up now. Been in there for at least two decades. I had a time skip, not the good one either. Died. Sealed weapon, the use of a firearm during a felony. Wright was presented at court for a pretrial bond hearing. Judge is that a Wright granted a bond in the amount of fifty thousand dollars. Hearing this, Wright made a run for it. Oh, shit. oh, shit. that devil jump! Oh, oh, hold on, I wasn't, I wasn't locked in. I wasn't locked in. Hearing this, Wright made a run for it. That really tried to double jump, Chad. Seven officers finally managed to subdue Wright. After the scuffle, Judge Bright removed the bond and ordered Wright to remain in custody. The case eventually went to trial and Wright was sentenced to life in prison. Wright's brazen attempt to escape was a shocking courtroom moment. To be honest, if I was getting life in prison, I'd probably try to run too. I'm going to keep it a stat with you. I can't even blame him for at least attempting it. But see, this is not really a real runner like that. Cause like me just running all the way through the gate. They try to double jump. Trial that was his issue, Chad. Jump. Try to jump. Bro should have just ran straight through that. Game. That jumping is not gonna work, bro. Life in prison. Wright's brazen attempt to escape was a shocking courtroom moment. But how does it compare to stabbing your own throat? Stop recording. In the case of Aubrey Trail, a murder suspect in Lincoln, Nebraska. Trail was 52 when he murdered Sidney Loof with the help of an accomplice. According to reports, Bailey Boswell, Trail's real life partner, met 24 year old Loof on Tinder and lured her to their apartment. It was reported that at their residence, Trail and Boswell engaged in a violent act against Loof, involving the use of an extension cord, and later took disturbing actions with her remains using tools they had acquired from a home improvement store. They wrapped her remains in dumped them along a rural road. Loof's family reported her missing the next day after she failed to show up for work. Trail and Boswell fled. How did he slice his own neck? And what, how did you slice what you don't have, man? How is this possible? This look like he 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 he, he part time sensei on, on, on Disney's kicking it, man. State and post. Look like Bobby Wasabi. Several videos on social media denying any involvement in Loof's disappearance. Just curious, are we not allowed to? tell our side of this again i'm just a criminal so you're going to believe none of this and i guess it's really irrelevant we have apparently murdered this lady if i'm a thief i'm a thief but i mean god i've never killed anyone in my life i've never hurt a female in my life so take that for whatever the hell it's worth 
They were God arrested in Missouri on November 30th, 2017, and charged with first-degree murder and improper disposal of human remains. During interrogation, Trail said that Loof's death was an accident. He said he was they was having sex, bro, and he strangled her too hard and it went left or something like that. Cap, I don't trust that motherfucker. And he got horseshoe. Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire box art cover logo for the hairline. My so it don't even matter what this nigga gotta say. I'm gonna keep it as that with you, right? Well, that I'm playing Omega Ruby right now. W. Trail pleaded not guilty to the murder charges, but accepted the charges of improper disposal of human remains. During his trial, Trail attempted to take his own life in front of the judge and the jury by his throat with a razor blade he had smuggled. Trail yelled, Bailey is innocent and I curse you all. Mother tried to, just thought he was a cooner or something. Tried to place a curse on all of them before he left my. Mother tried, tried to really, really, really uh, use a binding vow on. That's tough. Into the courtroom. Oh, Stop recording. He went on to make a full recovery and was later found guilty of all charges. On June 9th, 2021, Aubrey Trail was sentenced to death by lethal injection. He's currently on death row at the Nebraska Reception and Treatment Center. Trail's shocking attempt to end his own life sent shivers through the courtroom. But how does it compare to jumping off the courthouse balcony? Like in the case of Christopher Clay Rudd, a suspect facing drug charges in Spanish Fork, Utah. Rudd was arrested and presented in court on That is different. Yo, that don't. Utah. Rudd was arrested for Clay Rudd. That had to have been getting life, my nigga. To try to jump off all this, you is literally risking. Like, if you land the wrong way, you might die. A suspect facing drug charges. I don't. I don't know how. Utah. There's no way it worked out for him. Presented in court on May 4th, 2018, failing to follow through on court for treatment. A handcuffed Rudd suddenly ran out of the courtroom and jumped over a second floor railing, falling about 20 feet to the ground below. He survived the fall but suffered serious injuries, including a broken leg, a fractured pelvis, and a skull fracture. Okay, wait. Is he sped? Wouldn't it have been smarter to just run straight and and go down the steps? I feel like that would, I mean, you would have saved a little bit more time, but nobody is jumping over here to come and get you money. Like, I feel like that would have been a little easier on yourself. I mean, would he, is it a little bit more likely he might get caught? Yeah, but it's just like, are you doing that or you want to break all your bones in your body and shit like that? To the ground below. Bro, trying to get a clip, yeah, L clip arm. Survived the fall, but suffered serious injuries, including a broken leg, a fractured pelvis, and a skull fracture. Rudd was taken to a hospital for treatment and later returned to the court, where he faced additional. Yo, Lana, what's up, man? What's up, man? The motive behind his dramatic leap is unclear, but some speculate that he may have been trying to injure himself to avoid going to jail. Christopher Clay Rudd's leap of faith was truly a dramatic courtroom moment, but how does it compare to having your mouth taped shut? In the case of Franklin Williams. A suspect facing multiple charges, including armed robbery. God! This is the most interesting criminal I've seen in my life. This swallowed a Minecraft earth block to the dome. I ain't never seen it with a build like this, bro. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. We all know one uncle that looked like this, bro. Holy shit. How does he even get like this? Jacorby had a Robert in the case of Franklin Williams, a suspect facing multiple charges. Is that the same? Taped shut. In the case of what did they do to him? That the facial structure changed. Franklin Williams, a suspect facing multiple charges, including armed robbery and kidnapping in Cleveland, Ohio. Williams had previously That's the same dude? To some of the charges, but later withdrew his plea and claimed he was not properly informed about his eligibility for parole. GTA he Barber his ankle bracelet and fled the state, only to be captured in Nebraska. Williams claimed he had lost his memory after dude, same dude? Head. Yes, sir. I was hidden in the head and I didn't receive no medical treatment. I lost my mind. I lost my memory. I don't even remember me going to a trial. During his trial and sentencing hearings, 
Williams repeatedly interrupted Judge John Russo. Point to I'm going to hear from your lawyers, and that means zip it. But you're not letting me tell that you means what's going on. Zip it right now. You trying to? Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. From prosecutors and his lawyers, despite being warned to remain silent. So listen, you will get a chance to talk. I'm gonna gag you in one second. He accused Judge Russo. Of oh! Honestly, trying trying to make me quiet and shit like that, but threatening to put a dick down in his mouth ain't gonna fix things, bro. We fuck this on. What are you talking about, bro? Biased and unfair, and claimed he was being mistreated by the court system. His constant outbursts led Judge Russo to order his mouth to be taped shut with red duct tape by the deputies in the court. Take me off. Now I'd like you to speak. Mr. Williams, I want to make it real clear. If you spit on, attempt to bite, or injure any of my deputies, you're going to have a bad day. Oh, you clear. Put the tape on me, man. We got this shit. That's what it is. We'll go back on the record. Mr. Williams will have a chance to speak. And I'll be monitoring everything I'll say. Go ahead. Yeah, that tape is now. Holy shit. What the f? happened this had a one piece time skip what happened bro like it's like the facial integrity of this <laughs> bro so what happened to this bro holy f it's not even just facial hair or hair it's like the whole like the whole head shape of this has changed what could i have beat the fuck up 20 times by a big Yo, go to got closed. Williams was later sentenced Yo. to 33 years in prison by Judge Patricia Cosgrove, who pointed out that Williams already had a long record and now was being convicted of robbing innocent citizens. I want the world to know I am not an animal. Contrary to what people may think, I am a man never said contrary saying anybody. freedom of speech, no duct tape. Your Honor, I ask today, Your Honor, that. I received the lightest sentence that you can give me. I know you're not an animal, Mr. Williams. You're a human being. But the question the court has to determine is whether or not you've learned from those mistakes. Since Williams did not cause any trouble during his second sentencing and only said freedom of speech, no duct tape, before being led out of the courtroom. Freedom of speech, no duct tape. Jojo, sing. Freedom of speech, no duct tape. With the hashtag. We are not posting that on Instagram, my We are not using that on Twitter, my Talk that moment going to be playing the uh, You Say Run and, and start being like, yeah, freedom of speech, no duct tape. We're not using those. We're not using those. Judge John Russo later apologized for gagging Williams. I apologize for taking that action last week. And Williams' gagging was truly an unexpected courtroom moment, but how does it compare to attacking your own lawyer? Like in the case of I, another business, attack they lawyer? A murder suspect in Wisconsin. His name is Taylor Shabusiness, my Worst last name I've ever heard in my life. Attacking your own lawyer, like in the case of Taylor Shabusiness, a murder suspect in Wisconsin. 25-year-old Shabusiness engaged in a business. 24-year-old Shad Therion during a drug-influenced encounter. According to reports, Shad faced severe harm involving the use of a metal chain, resulting in tragic consequences in his mother's basement. Shabusiness left behind disturbing evidence, including a severed head in a bucket and various body parts distributed among storage containers. Okay, hold on. Just... Captain Underpants' last name? That's what we're right. You, you mentioned observing the, uh, the, the bucket. Uh, I guess where in the basement was that located? As you go down the stairs. Um, if you turn to the immediate right, it was at the bottom of the stairs to the right. It was it in pretty close proximity to the stairs. Yes. Um, after you made that observation, what did you do? Uh, after I pulled the towel off. Yes. Um, I had Officer Plunky come downstairs and just verify we had in fact found um, a human head in the bucket. Oh, head! Shad's mother stumbled upon the shocking discovery of her son's lifeless head. Shabusiness confessed to engaging in disturbing activities with Shad's lifeless body for an extended period after the incident. Oh, this is, oh, she. Uh, what, what did he call that? Uh, when you be doing that to bodies that is dead already, bro? Necrophilia or something like that? Oh, you nasty. Uh. But when did you start? You know, cutting up his body. Wow. 
and like almost right away. I was sucking and cutting at the same time. You know what I mean? Because like, I don't know. But she liked it? I liked it. She was arrested and charged with first degree intentional homicide. This looked like a Toontown character, my This looked like, I don't know, like the, the, the texture pack didn't load all the way, my She got 75% loaded texture pack, my Holy f Mutilation of a corpse and third degree sexual assault. During a court appearance, Shabiznis shockingly attacked her own lawyer. She Weakest crash I've ever seen, my If you're going to attack your lawyer, my do better, my that wasn't even worth it. She just caught an extra charge for no damage, bro. That was like zero damage provided. Hacked her own lawyer. She Stop it. Okay. Stop it. Ma'am, stop. Just stop. You had to be passive. Who is the Hulk? Is the Hulk in the court? <laughs> Taylor, it's me. Given her actions in court. What the Hulk? Who is that? Taylor, it's me. The Hulk in the court. Who is that? This was seen wearing a spit hood in her next appearance. Shad's uncle Kelly Therion slammed Shabizness, business, telling her there's no excuse for her cowardly actions. Kelly said he wished death in prison for Shabizness business and yeah. hoped she would meet the same fate as her idol Jeffrey Dahmer. I will pray that. Oh yeah, because Jeffrey Dahmer got killed the same in jail. Fate as your idolistic Jeffrey Dahmer. Michael Therian, Chad's father, said he forgave Shabiznis for what she did to his son and hoped she would use her time in prison to become a better person. Taylor, I just wanted to say that uh, I forgive you for what you've done to my son. And, uh, yeah, you made a bad choice, and now you have to live with it. Uh. He asked Judge Thomas Walsh to allow her Be to see the soon. And I'm going to ask the judge if he can, you know, if she can see the streets again sometime, you know. That better than me. I ain't going to hold you, bro. I know he's all about forgiving and shit like that. Better than me, my. Pay somebody named Bubba to handle it in prison, my. Cause... It, it may not be soon, but uh, I believe I believe everybody uh, makes bad choices and maybe not to the scale, but. Uh, I think there's a lot of hope for you. Judge Walsh said that this crime Good offends dude. human decency. This crime offends human decency. It offends human dignity. It offends the human community. It really does. Taylor Shabiznis was later found guilty on all counts and sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. The first degree intentional homicide as a repeater. It's a class A felony. Going to impose uh, life in prison. Music be cutting in, and I have no idea. The music is acting discombobulated right now. My copyright music. Taylor Shabiznis's trial was filled with blood chilling moments, but how does it compare to a judge being dragged out of court? Like in the case of Judge Tracy Hunter, who was accused of multiple felony charges in Hamilton County, Ohio. A judge? Uh, investigation that they're doing. And again, I'm at the point to say, go ahead and. Chat. Now I've seen perks. This is perks. This is perks, my see, uh, see off that You could tell, Chad. You could see it in her eyes. She off that shit. My money ain't got to really look like that. You could just tell off this pause. She on that. She on that booger sugar. Uh, investigation that they're doing. And again, I'm at the point to say, go ahead and, and, and indict me. And, you know, the whole juvenile court will just be on trial. According to reports, in 2014, Hunter used her position as a juvenile court judge to backdate documents and mishandle confidential records uh, to help her brother who worked as a juvenile court employee. Uh, she was convicted and sentenced to six months in jail. However, she appealed her conviction and sentence and remained free while the case went through various courts. In 2019, Hunter's last appeal was denied. Why the are judges always have the craziest last name? Bro's name is Dink Lacker? His name like always the last name Digga. I was about to say Digga Dome, Dimma Dome, like Statinopolis or something like that. Like it's always some super like last cartoon name. Judge Patrick Dinklage. The interest of the state and the public in the finality and enforcement of judgments supports the denial of Judge state Hudge. And appeal accordingly. Finkel Winkle. Dinkelberg. Judge Dinklacker upheld Hunter's previous I'm not listening to the name and sentenced her to six months in jail. Yo, the music get out of here. The Hamilton County Justice Center 
credit one day. Think the music is so confused, bro. Chaos ensued in the courtroom. Yeah. Hunter's supporters protested her sentencing. Okay. Hunter refused to cooperate and had to be dragged out of the courtroom. Yeah, the music is that. Holy, holy audio. Yo, yo, it, it's actually geeking me because these is like bringing the music in and out like. Bro, they can't decide if they, they need to use her to die. It's only six months, too. Yeah. What? Hunter was released after serving less than three months in jail due to overcrowding. Oh, that crashed out for three months, bro. She, however, lost her law license. She also filed a federal lawsuit against the county and the state, alleging civil rights violations and seeking damages. Her case is still pending as of 2023. Tracy Hunter's fall from grace was truly a shocking courtroom moment, but how does it compare to lashing out at victims' families, like in the case of Andrew Worth, a double murder suspect in double Jefferson, murder. Wisconsin? On December 6, 2009, Worth shot and killed off-duty police officer Jennifer Lewick and her boyfriend Greg Peters wow. outside a bar. According to reports, it all started when Lewick grabbed Worth behind on the dance floor. Worth said something to Lewick and Peter came to her defense and confronted Worth outside the bar. Worth claimed he acted in self-defense, saying he saw Greg reach for a gun. Witness Scott Trader said that Lewick initially survived and stumbled into the bar asking for help. When Trader got outside, he saw Worth pointing a gun at Greg's head and yelling at him. Worth walked away, and Greg struggled inside. He yelled, you know, call 911, he's got a gun. And then uh, she was standing there for a few minutes and then collapsed. And nobody had even known that she was shot at that point. Worth was soon arrested and charged with two cameras. Oh, yeah, did it. Did it. You see the neck tat? What does it say? Two loss? What does that first word say? What is that first word? Waiting? Home thing? I don't know what this first word says, but it's got a lost throat, my Nothing to lose. Oh. Nothing to lose. It's got nothing to lose. No pain, no gain throat, my National homicide. Bail was set at $1 million cash. That's when worth some. I told to put in that anti -point. forward towards the victim's families. He had to be pacified by several court officers. <laughs> Police Chief Jim Wallace was right next to Lewick's family when this happened. Worth was later acquitted on two counts of first degree intentional homicide and convicted on two counts of homicide by negligent handling of a dangerous weapon. He was sentenced to 10 years in prison. Andrew Worth's out. You got 10 years in prison for two bodies? Who was the lawyer, Jayoma? What the f? Burst shocked everyone in court, but how does it compare to being tased in court, like in the case of Kenneth Freeman? That's actually insane, man. That's actually you guys. A murder suspect in. You got life in prison or in death penalty down to ten years. Freeman murdered nurse practitioner Carly Bodine in a parking garage. According to reports, he allegedly beat her, dragged her to her car, oh, wow. and drove over her several times. He was arrested and charged with first-degree intentional homicide. Oh, wow. During his court hearing, Freeman became unruly and started using profanity and insults towards the judge, the prosecutors, and the victims. The victims, yeah? Uh-huh. Lex Luthor. I do have reason to believe uh, that. Yo, I've never seen so much discombobulation with the music in my life. These have been struggling with this for the past like 10 minutes now. Competency is an issue in this case. Well, I was going to say. to listen to the judges. The fine editor. Well, I was going to say. I like this the judge then ordered the deputies to yeah. use a stun gun on him to stop his behavior. Yeah. 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 She locked in. She minded her own business. She ain't looked up once.
Freeman was ordered to stay in a state mental institution after a doctor's report found him competent for trial. Later, in 2020, Freeman was ordered to be committed for life in the Wisconsin Department of Health Services. He was found not guilty because of a mental disease or defect. Wow. The tasing of Kenneth Freeman was a hair-raising courtroom moment, but how does it compare to an all-out brawl between the families of the victim and the defendant? Like in the case of Frank DeLeon Jr., a murder suspect in Houston, Texas. DeLeon was 19 when he shot and killed his ex-girlfriend, Diamond Alvarez. According to reports, he shot 16-year-old Alvarez 22 times in the 20 chest. 22 times and is and crazy. He meant to do that, bro. He meant to. He in charge with first-degree intentional homicide. During the hearing, tensions ran high between the two families. First, Alvarez's mother tried to confront Delion. Then, Alvarez's uncle jumped in and punched Delion. Then, Delion's mom ran over to defend her son. The whole family brawl is sick. Yo, y'all have got to show this, like, Inspector Gadget, who's there as music money. That's like if I put my mic all the way down here and I started playing my music like that and then really started talking like this and really started talking about the complexity of what's going on here. Like, that's like, that's ridiculous, bro. Elion pleaded guilty and accepted a plea deal for a 45-year sentence. He will have to serve at least half of his sentence before he's eligible for parole. 45 years? DA Kim Ogg said that this case was solved within two years, which is a record as far as homicide cases go. After the brawl, Alvarez's mother apologized and said she couldn't control her emotions. Diamond's mother. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Whoever edited this video needs to be court-martialed. I'm not even gonna catch him. Yo, no, whoever edited the music on this need to be court martialed by Michael Hoosh. <laughs> Yo, ain't no fing way. Mother telling us it was a difficult decision yeah. to make. Harp, because I want it to be. Holy. Bro. The brawl also led to the escape of another defendant in a separate case who took advantage of the chaos and ran away from the court. Yo. He got out of the building, he took off his... <laughs> the fight between two families is truly one of the most shocking court Yo. moments. But how does that it. Hilarious. Escaping. Oh, I remember this. I remember this. I remember this. Multiple crimes. Yo. Little Rock, Arkansas. Delgado was <laughs> burglary in possession of a firearm charges. He told police Yo. that he wasn't feeling well. He couldn't feel his legs. While being transported to the court, Delgado jumped off his wheelchair, caught a cab, and made a run for it. The officer ran after him, but Delgado Yo. gave him the slip. What? Oh, bro. Yo, that is hilarious. A few hours later, Delgado was caught from the other side of town and charged with felony escape. Once again, in a wheelchair. Delgado's daring escape is one of the most ridiculous courtroom moments. Yo, despite that nigga having a whole schizophrenic episode during the editing, that was a good video, bro. It's really be crashing down and doing a whole bunch of crazy shit in the courtroom. I ain't gonna cap to you, bro. But good video nonetheless, bro. If y'all, <laughs> yo, that was funny as fuck at the end. I don't know who the fuck was on music duty, but holy. <laughs> if y'all watch this on the two Twitch Blue Ride in the description, come to the month stream immediately, bro, to watch more videos like this with us, bro. And uh, yeah, we getting back to our true crime bag. You feel me? So yeah, come to the month stream. I do, Ishi. I. Oh, I'm speaking to heaven Eat that by my mama, I didn't make it Me by the cheerleaders, I won't buy